October 21st, 2019. I am Farah Bates with tonight's edition of News In Depth. Welcome and thank you for joining us. In the headlines, schoolgirl traumatized after being beaten by classmates. More in this report. Rosanna Mohammed, a young mother from Skellen East Burby's Quarantine, is calling on authorities to conduct a thorough investigation into the beating her 16-year-old daughter endured. The woman is alleging that her daughter was attacked by a gang of girls at her school last Monday. The fifth form student of Tagore Memorial Secondary was beaten by three girls after they alleged that she made remarks about one of them. On Monday during the school's lunch break, the girl was on the pavilion with a friend when the girls came and began slapping her and pulled off her hijab. In a video seen by this newscast, the girl was visibly shocked by the attack. Another video also showed another student pouring juice into the girl's hair while others stood around recording and laughing at the act. The tearful mother said she wants justice for her daughter. She has since reported the matter. The one that backs her up, she was still in school. She could have still beat my daughter the next day. In fact, they, they threatening to beat her. And I go to the school since two, Monday, this thing happened. Every single day I've been in school. Take her to school, go back in the afternoon, call up people to find out if everything is okay. It's not easy, it's not easy dealing with this. My daughter, she's really traumatized by all the, the, the bullying happening on social media. The bullying happened at school. Her class teacher, she's been very nice. She talked to the children and everything, but that is not enough. The welfare, well, I heard that they're gonna step into the matter and they're gonna come Monday, but I don't know what the welfare is going to do, but these girls, they, they need severe punishment, and I said it in my Facebook post. Three day suspension for that girl that started a fight where the mother instigated. The mother of one of the three girls who attacked the victim also allegedly made scandalous comments about the victim via a social media post. The family of the victim said this is a clear case of bullying and they want the Ministry of Education and the relevant agency to take a stand against this act. Everything, but the children at the school they don't listen to anybody. They need help. They, they, they feel fighting is okay, that they could beat anybody, they could do anything, or they can even beat or, or tell an adult anything. They have no respect. A teacher said to me that a student, a one that said she's gonna pull my daughter here out, that she stand on the road and she curse out big people. So teachers know about their behavior and nothing. I don't know what the teachers did, but I feel more need to be done in the school with these girls because they've been beating up people, children, and, and it's been happening. And I know the teachers at the school, because when I went there this morning, one of them was very upset. She said, I'm gonna get to school a big problem. But when I saw the video, the two video where my daughter was attacked, I don't care if the school get into problem or who get into problem or if I gotta get into problem, but we want justice. More news after the break. Stay with us. Are you having problems sleeping at night? Well, worry no more. Comfort Sleep mattresses are simply the best. Comfort Sleep provides quality products, factory fresh and better value. With every purchase you make, you become part of our family and help to fulfill the need of the less fortunate. Comfort Sleep, as part of their corporate duty, provides meals for over 500 children in regions 3, 4 and 6, three times a week. This, among other charitable events, year-round is part of our mandate. What are you waiting for? Keep the dream going. Be part of this great family. Comfort Sleep. Eccles Industrial Estate, East Bank, Demerara. Telephone 233-3013 or 233-2657. Email comfortsleep49 at gmail.com. The Guyana Elections Commission would be conducting a claims and objections exercise from the 1st of October 2019. Persons have until the 4th of November 2019 to make a claim to be on the list if you will be 18 years or older by the 31st of December 2019, a Guyanese citizen by birth, descent, naturalization or registration, a citizen of a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for a period of no less than one year preceding the 31st of December 2019, persons who require changes or corrections to their particulars as stated on the preliminary list of electors, such as names, occupations, and transfers in relation to their addresses, can also do same during the claims and objections period. You must present the relevant original documents in order for the transaction to be completed. Don't delay. Visit the nearest GCAM registration office today. 
For more information, visit our website at www.gcom.org.gy. Follow GCOM on Facebook at Guyana Elections Commission. Contact us on 225-0277-9 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy or the nearest GCOM registration office. Wouldn't it be nice if we didn't have so much waste to dispose of in the landfill? Well, composting can help us reduce the waste we dispose of by turning our organic waste into compost, which can be used to improve the quality of our soil. Composting is very simple and convenient. You can compost using organic waste such as vegetable skins. Or fallen leaves and cut grass and put this in a composting bin or pile. Compost can help your garden grow healthy plants while reducing your volume of waste. It's a really good way to keep our communities clean and healthy. So, let's all start composting our waste. Find out how easy it is. Call us on 226-2189 or 227-8429 or visit our website, moc.gov.gy. A message from the Ministry of Communities in collaboration with the Inter-American Development Bank. for perfecting imperfections and capturing flawless skin. A lot of brands forget women of color or just don't understand that we come in all shades. From caramel to ebony, there is such a range. Iman Cosmetics is for every woman and features a line of skincare products and cosmetics including 16 foundation shades, powder, concealer, lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, highlighter, and BB cream. Visit us at Lot 75 Swarm Section, Rosal Town. That's behind the market. Or call 337-4422 or 688-9249. Shh! Welcome back to Wanted for the Murder of Gold Miner. Let's take a look. The Ghana Police Force issued wanted bulletins for two men in connection with the death of gold miner, Dion Stull. The men are 23-year-old Delon Demon Morgan, or Shane Morgan, and 23-year-old Lennox Eswick. Morgan's address is said to be unknown, while Eswick's address is given as 640 South Emilius Ward, Linden. Stoll, a father of six, was killed during a shootout with bandits who attempted to rob him. The incident occurred on October 14th in front of the Eldorado Trading in the Selvis Street, Newtown, where he was going to conduct business. During the shootout, Stoll's driver and a security officer attached to Eldorado Trading were also shot. The Guyana Elections Commission would be conducting a claims and objections exercise from the 1st of October 2019. Persons have until the 4th of November 2019 to make a claim to be on the list if you will be 18 years or older by the 31st of December 2019, a Guyanese citizen by birth, descent, naturalization or registration, a citizen of a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for a period of no less than one year preceding the 31st of December 2019, persons who require changes or corrections to their particulars as stated on the preliminary list of electors, such as names, occupations, and transfers in relation to their addresses, can also do same during the claims and objections period. You must present the relevant original documents in order for the transaction to be completed. Don't delay. Visit the nearest GCOM registration office today. For more information, visit our website at www.gcom.org.gy. Follow GCOM on Facebook at Guyana Elections Commission. Contact us on 225-0277-9 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy or the nearest GCOM registration office.
a man's beer. The Central Housing and Planning Authority is kindly asking residents living in communities under the management of the department to desist from storing construction materials on roadways and road shoulders. Residents are also being asked not to block roadways or drains with construction materials. According to clauses 12 and 13 of the amended agreement of sale of restrictive covenants attached to titles issued from 2012, no storage of materials comprising earth, sand, stone, blocks, cements, timber and steel or mixing of concrete shall be permitted on the road or the road shoulders. Any materials on the road or the road shoulders must be cleared within 24 hours of being placed thereon. Residents are reminded that failure to adhere to clauses 12 and 13 will result in a penalty of $10,000 being charged per day of default. A message from the Central Housing and Planning Authority. And finally, four persons are now in police custody following a Port Morant robbery. More details in this report. A family of Lot 8 Public Road, Haswell, Port Morant, was beaten and robbed by three armed bandits on Saturday night, minutes after they arrived home. The bandits escaped with valuables worth approximately $500,000. Kimberly Fedricks, 21, and her repeated husband, Akash Noreen Sami, left home early Saturday evening to attend a religious function. Upon returning home at approximately 9.30 that night, the young couple said they noticed a black car parked a short distance away from their home. According to the woman, prior to the robbery, her husband had noticed the strange black car following him and driving around the area early in the day. And he opened the door for me and walked I walk in and he was going to lock back the grill and um, I didn't see but what he said one of them come up to him with a gun and tell him that um, don't scream. And uh, he pushed him because the car was parked right here, so he pushed him and he fell on the car. And he was going to try to lock back the door, but when he tried to lock back the door, two of them ran and pushed him down. And then when I turned back in the kitchen, one of them came to me with a cutlass, and I started to scream. And he told me if I scream, he's going to chop me in my head. So I had my cell phone right in my hand, and um, he took it away from me and told me to give him the password, and I gave him and I had on my ring, and he took out the ring. And he took me in the room, and I start to get, I, he asked that, um, where's all the money and the jewel that y'all have? So I give him the jewel box, and I had a puzzling cup, and I give him. He said, this is no kind of money. Where is all the money? He said, this is all we have. So the two of them that had he on the floor, they drag he and bring he in front of the room door. And um, the one that had me in the room, he give the one with the gun, the, um, the puzzling cup. So he was like, um, the puzzling cup was big. So he's like, there's no money in here, where's all the money? What do you need, $20? I said, no, it's no $20, it's $1,000. He said, okay, I give him everything. She said the men not only demanded the phones, but they also forced them to unlock their phones before handing it over. Yeah, but the one, one of them hit him in his head and they um, kicked him on his rib. So they were masked. Yeah, all of them were masked and they were on like this wrong flap hat. Yeah, all of them were masked. And then um, they keep bugging him for his phone password too and he gave them. And the one with the gun, he was like, um, where's the key for this room door? I said, um, there is no key for the room door. He said, you know what, we gonna lock y'all in here and we don't want to hear a song from y'all. So they just um, they pushed the room door and locked me inside and they just ran out from the back fence. Quick response from the Guyana Police Force and a thorough probe by the police have landed four persons in custody in connection to the robbery, along with the vehicle that was seen parked a short distance away from the couple's home. With that, we've come to the end of tonight's newscast. If you have a new story or tip, you can contact us on 666-4337 or 654-0523. You can also visit our website at www.rdproductionjiwa.com or on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Royce and Drake's Production for more details on these and other stories. Join us again tomorrow night for more news. I am Fire Bates. Good night.